Hi guys, this is Bo, uh, the Weekend Gamer. Uh, so we are looking at uh, GOG 2.0. Uh, as you know, uh, I am a huge fan of GOG. And um, I was very excited when they announced uh, a GOG 2.0. Uh, right now it's currently in beta, so uh, some of the stuff will look different when it officially launch, or maybe some features they're gonna add in. Uh, right now, um, the only um, games that you or the only uh, games launcher that you can connect are these games uh, launchers, uh, which are these basically Xbox Live, Epic Game Store, Origin, PlayStation Network, Steam, and UPlay. As you can see, I've connected to all of them, uh, and I will. And more will be added uh, later on. And this is a community integration, so they, the community is adding this uh, option. Uh, right now, no Bethesda, no um, Blizzard, not Blizzard, but uh, yeah, Blizzard, um, which is um, where Diablo. I, I see Diablo on here, so. Oh, I see. That's on GOG. Um, I have Diablo three, so that's what I'm thinking. Uh, so. The, no Activision or any of the other game, but I'm assuming when uh, GOG 2.0 launches officially, because this is a closed beta, uh, that you we will have more to connect. And uh, anyway, as you can see, I'm connected to to all these platforms. I'm very excited about this. Uh, I do own a lot of games over multiple platforms, so having it all on one, um, you know, one item is just makes a whole lot of sense to me. Um, so that's one of the bad part right now it's it's very new so so you you don't you can't connect to some of them the other problem with some of these games is that they uh, don't offer um full access uh some some will, will only offer you um say you can only see achievements some won't allow you to connect with friends uh so it's uh, there's give and take on some of these platform but it is because of the restriction of these uh, launchers, not GOG itself. Um, so I just want to get that out of the way. Uh, right now, my two biggest platform I use is Steam and, and GOG. And between those two, I still love GOG uh, just because um, Steam, I think, is... Um, they are so popular that they basically sit on their laurels and doesn't improve, doesn't do anything, and they take you know, 20, 30 percent of everything that the game maker makes and really don't offer much outside of the, um, having triple A games on the platform. And it's because a lot of these big companies don't want to release their games um, uh, without DRM. So basically that's what it comes down to. And because of GOG's philosophy that uh, they allow you to play games offline, for example, um, that to me that uh, I just love their philosophy and I, I would look forward to uh, to supporting them uh, versus uh, Steam which um, you know maybe they'll get around to it but uh, at the moment they make so much money they really don't want to improve and I think something like this where uh, there you can just add all these platform all these games into one place I think um, this this is the innovation I want from launchers Anyway, as you can see from the uh, left here, is the games played by me here, and then recent games played by others, but they're also in my, uh, I guess, connection or collection that uh, you can see how, what people are playing that's popular. Uh, I guess Destiny 2 is super popular still. Um, so anyway, uh, all these connection, uh, you can see uh, what we have on PlayStation. Uh, now, PlayStation and Xbox, uh, I do own, di these are digital games that I own on the two uh, platform. They're not physical disc because, um, uh, you know, with the disc, uh, I don't know if they can even keep track of, of um, games that you own on disc. I don't think they can. But um, the the cool thing is um, you can choose to, see, I don't follow twice, but you can choose to install the game on your console, but you can't download it on your PC and play it. It would be awesome if you could uh, or maybe if they Xbox can tie it to maybe the Windows Store so that if you own it on Xbox you can also own it on your Windows Store or whatever. That would be awesome but um, uh, with PlayStation you can't because obviously you can only install it on the console because you can only play 
um, uh, on on this console, not not the your PC. So, so yeah, I don't own a lot of games on Epic, for example. These are just the free games that I download every month. Or, uh, for um, which reminds me, they they probably have a free new game this month that I should check out and download. Um, but yeah, you play not too many. I mean, some of these uh, I, I just don't have too many. Uh, the, the two main one I have is Steam and GOG. Those make up most of my games. Um, so if you look at all, all the games, we have 645 games. And then, uh, as you can see, there's duplicate games because I own games on multiple platforms. So so Arcanum I have on GOG, and I also own it on Steam. So, um, But they're the same game, basically. Um, so yeah, so you can see multiple version of you know, Bioshock and uh, Bro Force I own on Steam. Oh, on PlayStation uh, and and Steam. Okay, so yeah, so uh, so this actually might really help me kind of decide if I want to buy new games. So I say, do I own this game yet? Uh, or you know, I can pull it up and, and see one look across all the platforms uh, that's currently uh, supported I can see if I own the game or not and that'll be that's kind of cool I own Bejeweled three three times three third times the charm I guess um, but yeah it would be kind of nice to have Nintendo Switch on here too so that'll be kind of cool to have all you know it listed and um, uh, so I guess I haven't really played around too much with this because I've just installed it it's, it's still in closed beta and like I said, um, once it launches, um, um, there'll be more feature. But, but yeah, it'll tell you um, uh, it breaks down your timeline on games that you added to achievements you made to how many hours you played. Um, I don't think I played that many hours. I, I'm, I only play games on the weekends, though. That's, that might be a little, little off. But, yeah, and then it'll tell you achievements that you, you've done. Um, now, once again, some platforms don't offer achievement out, so you, some of these might not, it might not be truthfully reflected. But, but it'd be kind of, it's cool um, to see that kind of, kind of, um, uh, you know, uh, stats. Um, okay, so the last thing on here they have is uh, featured, which is their their storefront, which is very smart of them to add because uh, uh, obviously. Uh, you know, if you're if you're a GOG fan, you probably don't mind this, but but uh, uh, and you know, like I said, uh, I don't mind their store because all the games are um, DRM free as uh, this uh, a bulletin. So if you own it, you, you really own it. Um, so you can take that game, put it on a, a PC, any on any platform. You can put it on multiple PCs uh, all across. Uh, you know, four i five. There's no really no limit on how many you can install on how many you know devices and then um and it's yours and then um and you don't need to be online to activate the game or anything like that you can just play it offline so that's uh, one of the cool feature i love about um gog and like i said i believe in them that i've um spent a lot of money on on their platform uh mostly role playing games because unfortunately uh the the triple a <coughs> game companies like uh uh, they 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 don't want to have DRM. They they don't want you to have the freedom to to install your games anywhere, uh, and they they want to you know I um, this is a, a, an example. It's uh, Doom was recently released on um, Nintendo Switch, and one of the requirement in order to play Doom is you you know Doom Three for example on the Switch, is that you have to uh, log in with um, their account uh, so that they can you know allow you to play their game or something it's ridiculous um, and uh, that's on the Nintendo Switch uh, um, it's it's a really old game that I really don't understand the, the need to, to log into their service uh, I, I don't want them to track me for example but uh, with GOG, uh, you can just um, install it uh, offline if you choose to, and then play it uh, without um, anyone knowing about it. And so, um, let's see if we. So let's do a search for Doom actually. So, yeah. So I, I own Doom three on Steam and GOG, but I much prefer to play on on GOG. And unfortunately, this Doom here. 
it's only available in Steam. And like I said, because they don't want you to... Well, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but the game publisher, they really think that put in it without, uh, you know, um, digital rights management, uh, unrestricted, uh, will cause, um, uh, you know, uh, piracy. I don't think that's the case. I think piracy is going to happen whether you put DRM on it or not. And, and I know Doom, for example, has probably been pirated uh, regardless. Um, so uh, I don't think that really hinders uh, or stops the, the piraters. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so right now you can, I think you can only buy on, on Steam or, um, you know, the, um, I, I forget who, um, who makes Doom. Uh, it's no longer um, I, ID or is ID or is, who's the publisher? I forget. Um, so, well, it's this ID. Hmm. Uh, for some reason, I thought Bethesda uh, published these games or EA maybe. Uh, but anyway, the um, like I said, uh, you can only pretty much get it on on uh, platforms that support um, uh, DRM. Uh, anyway, as you can see, I, I do own uh, Fallout 76 on uh, the PC as well, but but you don't see it on here because um, I do own it on the PlayStation 4 too. So, oh, I don't own it digitally on the PlayStation 4. Uh, I do own it on disc though. So.